Your Royal Highness Prince Boris Petrovich Niegos. Welcome and thank you for the honor of joining us at the Institute for Cultural Diplomacy in Berlin. And thank you for your contribution today with a wonderful speech and the discussions. As a person with a very international point of view, how significant do you think cultural diplomacy is to facilitate intercultural relations? My point of view, first of all, thanks to yeah, admit me here. It was a very, very nice time and a very rich, rich moment to share with uh, all attendees all over the world. It was even bigger than Europe. Then uh, uh, I think, yeah, it's a part of the the answers. It's the rest of the world. Uh, it's all about this and uh, the cultural diplomacy have great, great challenge to do actually while all strong and military and governmental action uh, actually fail on many, many, uh, on many cases to achieve to build a sustainable society, sustainable world. Uh, I think the, the, the side, side action are actually more efficient and, and uh, as uh, a, soft, a soft diplomatic way to deal with the problem, the cultural diplomacy, is uh, a kind of incubator. Uh, I, I mean, it's uh, a way to bring together people not around a uh, nation concept, but more about experiences, about ID, and uh, about sharing all different kind of experiences all around the world, and bring them all together in a kind of neutral place where there's no main political or economical goal or achievement but it's a free time we can have today and yesterday and tomorrow to speak about that and yeah and get more richer from experiences for the other citizens all around the world and in this global perspective how important would you find intercultural exchange in various areas for the development of different countries especially uh, Montenegro? I'm very thinking actually that uh, it's, we are living in a, a, global, a global world, but I think that everything will start with local action. And, uh, and this is a clue point of uh, the international situation. Actually, if you are waiting to have uh, such yeah, big changes, and um, big projects, uh, I think it will never end. Uh, if you start with what you have and you're moving fast, uh, yeah, slowly and slowly, piece by piece, uh, uh, all projects will, will find themselves into a bigger plan and at the end will succeed to transform the society as it had to be. Indeed. When you say it all starts with local actions. Here today, the conference, the annual conference of cultural diplomacy, it can be seen as a local action. What would you take home back to uh, Montenegro? Uh, first of all, a dozen of visit cards. That's, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> but yeah, behind all these visit cards, uh, there are other citizens from Europe or from the world. and. Uh, and behind all these citizens there are, yeah, lies, experiences, situation, problems, and yeah, problem of people in Africa or in Asia or in Bhutan are not such far that the problem we are living here. It's maybe all about technology or economy or growth that can create different situation but we are still searching for the happiness, for sustainability, for a good way to create a world where we can raise our children uh, safely. And, and yeah, I think we are all connected to, yeah, through our cultural difference, to our, uh, yeah, also different goals or perspective, we are all connected to the fact that we are living in one world and uh, we can't think anymore 
that what's happened in Japan don't touch people in Paris. And yeah, it's this butterfly effect is more and more effective today because of the internet, because of the traveling, exchanging people from one place to another. Everything's accelerating. And I think we have to, yeah, to be to be pertinent, we have to move fast and we have to to go faster in changing the societies and uh, and maybe changing the world. There are many goals that we need to meet and luckily we have many means to do so. One of the means is cultural diplomacy. Uh, cultural diplomacy has recently seen a slight uh, change or maybe even improvement. The Institute for Cultural Diplomacy has now also an Academy for Cultural Diplomacy, which has made cultural diplomacy into an academic field. Uh, how significant uh, would you, uh, in your opinion, uh, would this be, the becoming of a real academic field? And would this also in some way be possible to connect with Montenegro? First question on the academic field. Uh, I saw during all these days here uh, that, yeah, even if a very few speaker was representative for the youngness, we have here, and I think the ICD will build itself above a lot of great young talented people, and it's about the future because of course uh, during my my presentation uh, uh, I, I take a part of responsibilities of the situation and the world as it is today uh, i think until my young age it's a very small piece uh, but i think that we have to to give more responsibilities to young people because they will be uh, the people that drive the world tomorrow and if we are waiting, they are too old to take the control of the situation, nothing very relevant can happen. And for the, the Montenegro, uh, I will, yeah, I think uh, having the same approach, we have to believe more in, into youngness because they are the first that live and that be hurt by, by the social problem because they are freshly arrive into the working life, active life, and, and, and they understand fully what are, yeah, what are the regret, regret, regret. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> okay, we can say that the young people can really appreciate regarding their ambition where they want to go, what they want to build for the future. And they also think have a less preconception of the world, of the rules, of the things. And they also adopt much more faster technology changes than we can. Then, yeah, let's, I think, let's, let's move with uh, young people and uh, let's build with them the world of tomorrow. I think this is a, the major challenge, but it can be, uh, yeah, the best uh, issue we can uh, we can have to bring more fresh and new ideas. A lifelong learning process. I'm really looking forward to meeting students from Montenegro here at the Academy for Cultural Diplomacy. I wish to thank you for this interview. Will you be here for the rest of the days of the conference? Yeah, yeah, I will. I'm very interested about what's happened on. Uh, Brandebus Gate tonight, but uh, uh, yeah, I think uh, I can keep and be patient a couple of more hours. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.